Hey guys, it's Velvet Film for another new podcast. Um, again, and come up with a few subjects to talk about here because I want to keep putting these up and keep making myself do them. Um, I sort of first to talk about the new Godzilla poster that you can now see buzzing around the internet. And um, I'm excited and scared at the same time. If you're like me or your mum or just generally because it was on the TV, I've seen the old ones so many times. And yes, in comparison to films now, it was tacky and just silly. But it, it's a classic, you know. I'm scared they've like remade it and it's going to be all CGI'd and they're going to make Godzilla like blah, 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 blah. I think the good thing about the old one is it was very enough to the imagination and even though it was tacky, it was realistic and it was creepy and had great acting and I don't know, I, it's probably just because I've seen the old one, it's one of those things that's probably like, no, don't stamp on my childhood, please, but who knows, let's see what you guys think about it before I judge it, you know, I should probably watch it before I judge it, but um, because of Godzilla coming out and it I thought I'd talk about sequels. Now, I know, obviously, this Godzilla's not a sequel. It's a remake, and I could have talked about remakes, but then I probably would have gone off on some tangent about Evil Dead, and that could have started debate. So I'm going to start with... Start? I'm doing it again, guys. I'm losing my little figure... Words and stuff. But um, I did some research into uh, sequels coming out this year, and some I'm really excited about, some I'm really shocked about, and... um. So I found things like, um, things I'm quite excited about is How to Train Your Dragon 2. I'm not going to lie, I am excited about that. Uh, second Captain America, uh, Thor 2 was quite successful. I reckon they'll do that again with Captain America. I quite like the first one, so. Um, they're doing The Raid 2. I know what that's about, but I'm not going to lie, I have not seen the first one. So it might be worth checking out, I don't know. Uh, we've got the dark comedy A Haunted House 2 by Marlon Wayans, who, um, obviously did the first one. So, um. Judging, I haven't seen that again, but judging by Twitter and stuff like that, it did really successfully, so let's see if number two is just as funny. Uh, other ones I'm quite shocked about, 22 Jump Street. I know a lot of people are excited about this. Um, I love most films. I'm a little bit, like, comedy. The genre is a bit lower than a lot of other ones I prefer in front of it, but um, I loved 21 Jump Street with uh, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum. That made me laugh hysterically, so... I don't know, you know, um, I've seen the trailers and it looks hilarious, but it's like, what's it going to do, you know, is it going to be the same, is it going to be completely different, but uh, again, I can't judge these films. Two that I'm, well, one I'm more shocked than the other one, one I'm quite furious about, but um, 300, Rise of an Empire, it's like, okay, the first one was great, it's like very successful, it's a very, I'm pretty sure it's a historic story, I don't know if it's true, but it probably is. It's probably, if it's not based on a true story, then it's obviously based on a, uh, like a myth or whatever. But it was a brilliant film, and it's like, right, see, obviously it was called 300 because of the army 300. How are you going to do that again? Um, it's a very CGI'd film. It's very much like, you know, covered up with loads and loads of effects and stuff. I really enjoyed it, considering it's not my type of film. So... I am quite excited to see what they're going to do next. I just hope it's not exactly the same as the first one, but uh, we'll find out. The Purge 2. Now, not a lot of people I know liked the first one. I loved it. I loved the fact that that was realistic. It was, um, people were like, oh, it's really short and stuff. It's like, but The Purge is only for 12 hours. They can't do that. They did. They kept the film short like it was realistic, like with the 12 hours from night till dawn, which I really loved. And it was more about the tension and the suspense than it was necessarily about the murder. So it was sim- It was simple, but it was amazing. And it's a really horrible concept. And I've, I like feel like we all have that kind of character in us that they portray, which is brilliant with them. Um, I think it's Reese Rakefield who played the psychopath and leader of the upper class group that try and get in the house and he was brilliant. He I actually I started to write an article when I first started Velvet Film about people we should watch out for, like new people coming up, like um the Evil Dead remake came out and with Red Riding Hood I was gonna write about Charlotte Fernandez and Dane DeHaan and stuff like that. Um but Reese Wakefield was at my top purely for the purge and I don't know why I didn't bring that article out, I might try it again. But um I don't know how they're going to do it again. I'm really scared, like, um, 
with the second one, they're going to bring out the gore a bit more. Because that's what some people wanted. They wanted it to be more violent, to be more gory. And it was gory enough in my eyes. And I've realised, I've just rambled on about how all these sequels are coming out. And I'm excited but terrified. I think I'd learned by now being a film buff that, you know, it's either going to be good or it's going to be terrible. Um, but yeah, uh, there's also a rumour of a second hot tub time machine, which I'm excited about. But with the rumour that I read, John Cusack was not mentioned, which is horrible because John Cusack is just... One of my most inspirational people ever, like for Hyperdelity 1408. So I don't know, you know, I understand new story, new people and stuff. But it's like, I think there's four guys at the beginning and like the first one should get involved somehow. But um, speaking of rumours, the new Fantastic Four, yes, another superhero film. Um, I'm not sure if it's a remake or like a third one, because I think only two came out. But um, I haven't heard anything about this film being made for definite, but I have been hearing rumours about people being in it. Like, um, I found out that apparently Jamie Bell is likely to be chosen to be in it. So I don't know if that's like, yes, Jamie Bell's going to be in it. But um, it seems weird because I've only really watched Jamie Bell in like British films like uh, Filth, which is finally out on DVD and I still don't own it. It's an amazing film. If you guys haven't seen it, go and see it. Because even if you don't like that kind of film, and even if you don't like this film, which would be ridiculous if you didn't, but um, I'm not judging you. Um, it will stick in your head no matter what. I, I loved it. Me and my friend actually came out of the cinema crying and slightly in shock of like questioning like what is life. And we did the same thing with Train Spotting. If you like Train Spotting, you'll like this. I find that filth is slightly trippier than Train Spotting, but um. Go and see it, by the way. James McAvoy, you know James McAvoy is not going to, like, be terrible. So, yeah. Those are my little rants about films coming up. I wanted to finally get out there with you guys and say that I'm going to... Well, after I've got a few screenings out of the way, the horror screenings, um, I'm going to start working on my web series. I've been working on some screenplays for years. That's what I want to do. I want to be a screenwriter. And um, I've decided... I've, I've brought out a fresh new idea, and it seems realistic in my head to like do it as episodes but I can see it whereas the first screenplay I wanted to make into like a web series didn't kind of fit like it kind of works as a film but it might even work better as a book and getting someone else to adapt it because it's very in depth very deep very violent and it's more about what's going on in people's heads and um going from what's in people's heads I thought of films like Go Interrupted and stuff like that so I've decided I'm going to do a web series with um women patients in a mental institution it's not going to be like show you in the mental institution. It's going to be them speaking to the main psychiatrist there and um, kind of going between the office and back to their lives before they were institutionalized to get to know these people. And, you know, you're going to have the typical sociopathic stuff. But I've um, really researched into this and done like some strange, very rare mental illnesses as well to add that edge to it, which would be quite cool. So I'm working hard on that at the moment, as well as uni work, where I'm writing, I've got to write essays, debates, and analysis, and I've actually got to uh, write the first 15 pages of my own screenplay for another class to put my point across to show that I understand each conventions in genre as well, so I'll be putting that up, so there are a lot of essays to come, there are a lot of essays for me to write, not just for Velvet Film. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have any interviews coming up, I've got an interview that I did with Tom Hilberts, I think it is, who recently did an EP for the film Live Life Dearest, which is amazing. I am a producer of. It says so on IMDb, so it must be true. But uh, I've done a lot of promotion work for these guys, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, the EP that they, that he wrote for it was beautiful. I think the creator of Live Life Dearest wrote the lyrics, but uh, Tim did the music, which was beautiful. Luckily enough, I was one of the people to get sent it, and I listened to it on repeat. Uh, but Tim agreed to do an interview with me, which is completed, but he's going to send me some um, video work as well. So it's going to be a whole piece coming out soon on Tim, which is really exciting because I'm so used to just sending people five questions, letting them write it, and then me babbling on and fitting the questions in, answers rather. So it should be cool. But yeah, there's my rant for today because it doesn't really seem to be going anywhere. And at the moment, it's like half two in the morning, so I should be sleeping. But um. Anyway, hope you like this random podcast of random stuff. I will be putting up another one and I promise to have some form of topic next time rather than just rambling about films. 
but uh, that's kind of my job. So sorry, guys. I'll, I'll make sure I start doing it with more of a more of a structure, shall we say? Yes. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Subscribe and all that stuff. The link to my blog will be in the description for you guys to read the stuff that comes up. Follow me on Twitter, support me, and keep updated. So yeah, until next time. Thanks, Velvet.